Greetings, friends and members of Calvary Baptist Temple. It is currently uh, Wednesday, shortly before noon, and uh, we just finished meeting with our staff and, and uh, getting counsel. Uh, yesterday, I phoned and, and had conversations with six or seven different pastors around the country and tried to get a sense of what would be the best way to approach the uh, situation that's, that's going on. Certainly unprecedented in my lifetime. And uh, tried to get a sense from them and then prayed about it. Met this morning uh, with some of the church staff and communicated with them. And uh, ultimately I came, I came to this conclusion based on this fact. President Trump has uh, requested uh, that we do a self-quarantine, if you will, and, and forego assemblies of 10 or more uh, for two weeks. When I first heard that, I thought to myself, he can't, he can't tell me what to do. and He's not going to tell our church what to do. And uh, the First Amendment guarantees us the right to gather and assemble. Then the more I thought about it, the more I realized he didn't tell us what to do. He gave a suggestion. Then after I thought about the suggestion, I thought, well, if it's just a suggestion, then we don't have to do it. And ultimately, that seemed like I was uh, going to do what I wanted to do, no matter what anybody else said or did. I don't want to be that way, and uh, I, I want to do what's best. I want to do what's right. I want to please my God. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 13, Submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors, or unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of them that do well. For, in, for so is the will of God, that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. I know if we have services, folks will come. I appreciate your faithfulness more than I can possibly express. I at times feel like it's my job as a shepherd to protect you from you. One of the things that is my responsibility is to look after the sheep spiritually. I believe that the Lord instituted government to look after the sheep or the people uh, uh, collectively, physically, and our government has, has asked us to do some certain things. Because of these reasons, uh, starting tonight until the end of the month of March, we are going to go to live stream only and Facebook Live uh, for our services. There will be no services here tonight at Calvary Baptist Temple gathering of the people together. And I'm sorry to tell you that, I truly am. These are difficult times. In 1918, there was what is known as the Spanish flu. The nation uh, requested that churches closed, and indeed they, indeed they did. This is not unprecedented. It's just unprecedented in our lifetime. I trust this will be for a very short time. We'll be able to move forward with our regular services, and perhaps even with a greater joy in meeting realizing it could be taken away. Now, we'll still preach every Wednesday, every Sunday morning, every Sunday night. Uh, we'll still preach the Word of God. And I would encourage you to share the links and share the live stream. Encourage other people to watch in. The gospel will go forward. This is not a time to shrink back. This is a time to be wise and yet still spread the gospel as best as we can. We'll be making more announcements about some of the restrictions and what we're doing and how we're going to be doing it in the evening service tonight at 7 o'clock. I hope you'll be tuned in for that. I, I don't want to be uh, reactionary. I, I don't want to be foolish, but uh, I don't want to be fearful. I do want to be wise. And so we've made this decision tonight. I, I know, again, that there would be people who would come, people uh, in their 60s, people in their 70s, uh, people with medical conditions would still come if we have services. And so it's for, for those reasons and, and others uh, that we'll decide to forego. wanted to let you know how you can see us. And so tonight, Facebook Live would be one of the easiest ways. Uh, you could see the services at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. And uh, I would encourage you to log in. Facebook Live will be the way you could do that. Also on YouTube. Uh, starting uh, uh, Sunday night. I appreciate so much, Brother Charles and Miss Becky, all the extra work that they did. Uh, we'll now be, have the capability of live streaming all of our service in addition to the Facebook Live. Uh, you can go to YouTube. When you go to YouTube, uh, type in Calvary Baptist Temple Fort Collins, 
and uh, uh, you'll see some of our videos. Click on any of our videos and then click the subscribe button and then you'll be able to see the video that will begin promptly at 7 o'clock uh, is when that will begin. So you can watch us on, on uh, YouTube uh, uh, live. You can watch us on Facebook live. Um, I would encourage you also to uh, download the Church Talk app if you have not yet done so. Uh, that will allow us to communicate and to communicate privately. Uh, right now, everything we're talking about is open for the world to see, and I very much would like to be able to talk to the members of Calvary with it just being us. And so if you have not yet done so, the Church Talk app will allow us to communicate uh, with it just being just our church family. I'd encourage you to do that. Then if you have not already done so, tithe.ly, L-Y, the word tithe.ly will allow you to continue to give uh, uh, even during this time, and I would encourage you to do so as well. Uh, the church's expenses haven't gone down any because of this, and in fact, we want to do more. Uh, we'll be talking tonight about what we're going to try to do extra for our missionaries, how we're going to try to help those. Uh, uh, we spoke uh, at length yesterday with uh, Jesse Delgado, spoke with him again today, and already things are changing in Argentina. There are self-quarantines and things going on there as well. And so this is not a time, listen, this is not a time to be fearful. This is a time to be bold in our faith and bold in serving the Lord. I am not discouraged. I absolutely hate making this video, uh, but I'll preach tonight. I'll preach, I'll preach my guts out. I'll preach the word of God. I'll, I'll love people. I'll help people. Our church is not closed. We are open. If you need us, contact us. We are here 24-7. Uh, we are here more than usual. And uh, uh, if you need us in any way, we're here to help you in any way we can. Again, we'll be making more announcements about this this evening. I trust you. We'll see you, or rather you'll see me at uh, 7 o'clock this evening. Calvary, I love you. I love the Lord. I'm passionate about serving him. I hope you'll give us some understanding and some little leeway as we make these decisions. And uh, uh, you'll support the cause of Christ. You'll support and love one another. Be in prayer for me, be in prayer for our church family, be in prayer for our missionaries. Please be in prayer for our missionaries and we'll move forward for the honor and glory of God. We'll see you tonight.